Last week we posted a video of us unboxing and installing our new water jet. It is a Flow Mach 200, 12 by something, six. Flow and a half by like six and a, or 13 by six and a half. Yeah, it's big. Since we posted that video, we've had a lot of people with questions about um, the water jet and this one compared to that one. Well, kind of like this one from The Big Nut. I'm curious if you can make a video on some of the differences between the two of them, or the water jets. And so in this video, we're gonna answer a bunch of your questions, and at the same time, we're gonna give you seven reasons why you need a water jet. They're all good. Oh, you need one. Reason one why you need a water jet. You can cut any material. Other cutters like uh, plasma or um, like an EDM, like the material that has to be conductive, but with a water jet, you can cut whatever you want. I mean, we've cut bowling balls, spiders, bone, yeah, skull, um, fruit. It doesn't matter what it is, as long as you can get it on the table and fit it under, you can cut it. And that's what's cool about a water jet, is you aren't limited to just steels. Douglas Folk says, now if you could just keep this clean. Hmm, wipe down after each use, wash and wax monthly. So this is our new water jet. This is how clean it is. Spick and span. Wait, and, the wax on, wax off. And that's about how they look when they're 17 years old. But water jets are extremely dirty. Like we've run this maybe 10 hours now and you can already see it all all building up. They're very difficult to keep clean. And the water used to be crystal clear, now it's all black. muddy and, and black. We're gonna try and keep ahead on like the wiping it down and cleaning, but it's gonna be like a full-time job. I'm by gonna itself. try to clean a spot on this one. <laughs> so this tank is supposed to be that color. It was once upon a time. And you can see it kind of starting to show through. Golden Turtle asks, would the water stream damage the bottom of the tank if it ran uninterrupted? This tank, the entire purpose of this giant tank filled with water is to slow this water jet down before it hits the floor so it won't do any damage. So he's asking if this is was empty and we were just shooting this straight down and it was hitting the bottom of the tank, no water. It would damage it, but I don't think it would cut through it. Maybe after hundreds of hours. Eventually you'd get to the center of the earth. Reason number two you need a water jet is it really makes food prep easier. We've cut enough food to fill an entire banquet hall. We've done turkey, we've done pumpkin pie, we've done a lot of cheese whiz. We've made a sandwich. And because the water jet uses ultra purified water, it actually keeps your food really clean. There's less chance of cross-contamination from using a water jet than there would be from using your kitchen knife. That is true, as long as you can keep the... Uh... Well, yeah, just keep this water out and you're good. <laughs> LC104 Villager asks, with it being a five axis water jet, could a turbine impeller rotor be cut on it? With the angles of the blades being cut right off, the blades would end up flatter than optimal, but it would be interesting to see. It would be very interesting to see, but unfortunately we are still three days away from going to our training to learn all the 3D programming and everything like that, so we can't demonstrate it here, but you can look at these pictures of other people that have done it, like this one, or this one. Give us a couple of weeks, once we're trained, we'll be able to do it and we should be able to do some really cool stuff on it. Dylan Dreisbach says, so now when you hit the nozzle, you can mess up the machine's functionality more. Yeah, that's kind of the thing I'm afraid of. Uh, James, when he was here, said that he's pretty sure I'm gonna be the one to crash the head uh, and make him come back and have to recalibrate the five axis nozzle. So I'm afraid to touch it now. Anthony M asks, can you do a really complex cut that shows the benefits of a five channel, I think he means axis head? We sure can. This is half inch aluminum and that is a countersink bevel cut on it. If you have like a bolt bigger than your thumb. Yeah, that's for a really big screw.
screw or something. That's just a, uh, a sample file that the water jet came with. So we still don't know how to program stuff like that. We just know how to run it. Reason number three why you need a water jet. It does low temperature cutting. As a lot of you may know, we cut out a lot of knife blanks and these are all knife grade steels. They've all been annealed and softened and when you heat them up, they harden again. So if we were to cut out this knife shape with a plasma cutter, the edges of that knife blank would all be hardened steel and it just kind of, it screws up the chemistry of it and it's better to do it on a water jet because that's what the internet says. And we love the internet. Sebastian Ochinchkowski said, hi, that bench press in the background looks massive and overbuilt. What max thickness can you bend on it? I think you mean this, Ochinchkowski. That is a brake press and it can go up to 250 tons. It can bench 250 tons. Yes. Fun fact about this machine, it is from around World War II era and it is now part of the building because it is not just sitting on the ground right there. These steel plates are covering the hole that it is sitting in and it actually goes three feet further into the ground. So if they ever have to move it out of here, you have to just call a bunch of scrappers and have them cut it up, I think. <laughs> Aiden's Trains asks, can you do a tour of the water jet and walk around it and show the pump and stuff? This is the water jet. We've got air hose, we've got water. That's the head. It is attached to that thing, which is like the Z axis. This is the base rail and it holds the bridge. This is the pump. That's a 30 horsepower motor. And those are the uh, cylinder heads, the pistons that actually pressurize the water. Pressurized water comes out of there, down there, over here, into this pole, and then it goes up. And then that long whip, connects over there and that's how the high pressure water gets to the head. This is the electrical raceway so that when this moves back and forth all the cables stay neat and don't get pinched or anything. This is the hopper. It is filled with garnet and it holds 900 pounds of garnet. The garnet comes through that hose and eventually makes its way over there to where it comes out at the nozzle. This is our water softener and a water filter because we have to filter and soften the water before it goes through that white pipe into the pump. And that's air because it needs air. Mm -hmm. It's a living, breathing creature. <gasps> Reason number four, a water jet can help you turn boring regular jeans into fancy expensive designer jeans. We need to see what they look like on a person, so. You want to try them on for it? You're the new fashion, yeah. <laughs> you got some sexy legs. You got some sexy legs, man. Are the jeans on for me, Craig? I won't. Yes, that'd be nice. Not me, I don't want to feel it. The knee's a little low. <laughs> 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 well, that was more flexible. <laughs> that really looks good. There you go. Do you want to try them on now, no. Dave? No. <laughs> no sir. Reason number five why you need a water jet. We have heard rumors that some people have been able to start a YouTube channel solely based around a water jet. Can you? Oh. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> Keep it above the waist, Dan. I'm sorry. Uh, Willie Pyrie says, "How quickly and efficiently could you dissect a body?" I'm asking for a friend of a friend. Well, Willie Pyrie, tell your friend to go watch the pig head video. It is disgusting. There was many parts we couldn't even put in there. YouTube still demonetized it, but 
It was awesome. Uh, it should answer your question. Reason six why you need a water jet, they're relatively easy to use compared to other CNC machines. You've used other CNC machines, right? I have. They're much harder to fix your program and do all that. This is very simple. Um, gets a great, great, great cut. So simple, even Mitchell could use it. Ding! Matt Kaplan asks, how are you gonna clean it now with the pillars in the middle? Come on, Matt. We thought of that. On the old water jet, we would pull all these slats out and then these larger slats that run the opposite direction, we pull those out and then we could get a mini excavator in there and scoop it all out. It, it was fun. Still, <laughs> on this one, if you watch the install video, we've got a lot more slats going that way and then there's pillars that are welded to the bottom that are holding those up. We can't really scoop this one out. So we got one of these things. This is what is called an extractor and the name of the company is actually called Extractor. I think this is called like the vac box or something. This thing has some giant hoses coming out of it, but it sucks water up one and spits it out the other. And then all of the garnet and sediment and stuff gets trapped in this box and it just pumps the water back. Watch the goo, it's about right here. It'll go up. And then that one's going down. Reason number seven why you need a water jet uh, is actually, you may not know, we do a lot of data destruction services. We have a lot of high profile clients. Uh, to protect their identity. I won't mention any of the names of any of the first lady clients that we've uh, previously done this for. Um, but we've got another client here who's uh, wrote in uh, and wants to get some uh, stuff off of his nook. Uh, and we can take care of that for him. Takes me right back to that first iPhone we cut. So our, uh, we didn't, we didn't fit it in there as well as we thought we did. We get you a battering pointer there, dude. <laughs> but I think, I think we still got the job done. I don't think anybody's gonna be finding his, uh, his erotic novels Ugh. anymore. Dan, we're supposed to tell them where they were. Oh, my bad. We've cut a lot of electronics on this channel, but this is one of the cooler cuts. We never turned it into spaghetti. <laughs> I found a four gigabyte SD card. That was lucky. I don't know, I think the FBI might still be able to get something off that. The final comment comes from Kazem Torgaman. We got a Flow Mach as well. I have to say that this company is awesome. The Flow Mach 500 is so accurate and fast. Never tried the 200, but I can tell you that Flow is a good company. You're preaching to the choir over here. Agree. Dan? Can you go change now? Respect my privacy. <laughs> to celebrate us getting a new water jet and having a bright future ahead of us, we are going to be doing a promo on water jet knives. With this new water jet, we now have a quicker turnaround time. We can do more knives. We can do more knifey things with it, with like the angles and stuff. So what we're going to do is we have cut out a crap ton of batterings out of 1095 steel. Um, anybody who buys a knife right now uh, at waterjetknives.com will get a free battering with every knife blank that they purchase. So you buy two knife blanks, you get two batterings. You buy five knife blanks, you get five batterings. And we'll be doing this for a couple weeks. How long? long? Until we run out. Until we run out. We've got quite a few, but we are limited, so Head over there, buy a knife. We'll ship you a knife blank along with a free battering. And yeah, they're great for throwing and stuff. Oh. See, when the camera's on, I miss. So that link will be down in the description to go buy a knife. And yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. We are really excited with this new water jet. We've got a lot of cool things planned in the future. If you want to see the video where we unbox and install our water jet, click here. If you want to see what YouTube thinks you like, click here. If you want to buy a knife, click here. If you want to subscribe, click here. Up oh, oh for five.